And there they are for Top That Trade. Scott Bauer, the CEO of Prosper Trading Academy, and Alan Nuckman, an options trading guru. Here we go, guys, with round number one. Billionaire buy. It's been said on this segment that Bitcoin hit a bottom. What do you think now that it's 8,000? Go back and play the tape. We were on here. Everybody hated Bitcoin, traded between three and 4,000. Uh, we said it was going to break out and go to 5,000 just based on that range breakout. It did, and it's gone up a big bounce since that time. Now we're at 8,000. I'm not a big believer, but I'll trade anything that you can get in and out of and it has liquidity. All right, Angie, aren't you happy to know someone that is a billionaire? Look at that. <laughs> Alan was right on that. Well, um, you know what? I agree with him in one case here, in the case that I want to trade it. Where it's going from here, no clue. I want to trade it, though. But the person that said that there are going to be billionaires made in the next 20 years said that, what, what, what was his exact phrase? Yeah, yeah, he said there's a he says it's your that's fault right. if you're not a billionaire you don't get in bitcoin now that's that's Throw that's it out the window that's a little over <laughs> that's a little aggressive a little over his skis there may be some opportunity but uh otherwise it's just a gamble on the round number two tweet trouble the president has been tweeting away lately it's been a market mover so how do you play tweets or do you buy twitter well, I hope personally that he continues to tweet and tweet and tweet because we when like he, it. we like it as traders, we like it because that gives us volatility. It gives us movement in the marketplace. We and it causes thrive fear. on it causes that fear that some people don't know how to react to and they overreact. And that's where opportunity is. No question about it. In terms of his tweets being directly related to the value or the price of the stock, I think it almost has no correlation whatsoever. We're, everybody's learning that. Yes. So it's not just us. <laughs> But looking at the Twitter stock, it traded between 27 and a half and 37 and a half, finally broke out, traded sideways for 10 months. So that targets a big move to 47 and a half. So even though the stock's up 30%, it still has a lot more upside. Agreed. Um, and I think it's got, you know, I think it may work. You know, this whole tweet thing, I think it's caught on. I, I agree. I agree. Here's the third round bourbon bubble. Whiskey stocks have been soaring. So are you into the booze buy? You like the Zima. You like the Molson. You like the, the I tap. I like the more watered down I, type drinks. I'm not a, yeah, anything uh, that dark yeah. is not going to work for me. I, now, I agree with that. Ellen and I don't agree on a lot. I'm a clear guy. I like the vodka. That being said, I truly think companies like a Constellation, an right. STZ, still are taking advantage of that. Yes, they diversified big time cannabis, this, that, and the other, but I, I think the run is still there for those dark beverages that I don't partake so they, in. So it seems that some of these companies have done very well, these bourbon and whiskey companies, because of the, the trade tariff and those concerns have really pushed up their value, but you know, I think people have been gravitating towards those just from a demographic standpoint anyways. Uh, keep an eye on something else, Fizz, F-I-Z-Z. -Z. That stock's up 350% in the last few years, and uh, that's not changing anytime soon. This carbonation thing is for real. Yeah, it's sort of like what SodaStream did, you know, right. kind of breaking this whole this whole industry out. So. Fizzy water. That's it. <laughs> Fizzy water. For your bonus round question today, it's summer. Well, almost anyway. So it's ticker time. Can you spot the phony ticker? Is it sand, heat, fun, or seashell? Seashells. Well, what, how is seashell even a ticker? Seashell. S-S-H-L? I don't know. I, I, I'm pretty sure heat is. I believe fun is a real ticker. The yep. other ones seem, seem like they should be uh, tickers. But she always tries to trick us. Uh, this, is, this is a game of psychology, not a game of, of, of knowledge. And so she's trying to trick us in some way, the way she says it. All right, I, I agree, seashell. You're on to me. It's absolutely seashell. I made that one up. Business First AM continues right after this. Great job, guys.